lightweight movement was taking place and really gaining some steam. And we looked at it and we noticed that everybody was mimicking the human anatomy. And ultimately, I think we came back to kind of question that was, was that the only solution? And, you know, ultimately, was it the best solution? Instead of just looking at one thing, we we're like, well, you know, other species in, in some ways do it much better than, than humans do. So instead of just looking at humans, we looked at, you know, a tortoise offers better protection, a, a gecko offers better traction, and something like in a mechanical way, like carbon legs, offer better energy return. So ultimately it came down to hybrid all these, these things together and come out with something that's truly better um, than a, a singular uh, expression like the human anatomy. So that led to the concept that we're calling even anatomy, uh, a hybridization of all species for maximum performance. With the apparel DNA, we felt that uh, Under Armour had a unique sense of, of fit and we wanted, really wanted to be about fit with this shoe, um, but performance fit. So that is really what drove from the beginning is this whole idea of a base layer against your foot and how that could actually enhance your sensibilities and enhance your performance rather than uh, being a typical shoe construction. So any shoe construction build starts with the last and what we were trying to achieve is a minimalist drop and what we did is took an existing last, dropped the heel angle six millimeters and increased the toe spring. What that allows is when the runner is running, it's a better transition, smoother transition from midfoot all the way to toe off. The shoe was really inspired by our apparel DNA and it was in, in some ways really built like our apparel, which makes it quite unique. Shoes are usually one piece uh, connected to a strobel. This shoe is actually made in two separate pieces completely, which is great because it actually lets you to get articulated fit and um, a, kind of a more tailored fit in a sense. Uh, you have a single layer in the forefoot, um, which is our apparel heat gear material. It's all about moisture wicking and lightweight. Um, from there, you know, we, we worked in our MPZ technology, uh, which stands for Modular Protection Zones. And uh, you'll see that on a lot of our apparel uh, in, in football and baseball and whatnot. And we worked that into the shoe, but we worked it in where you need it. So um, to get rid of lace bite and to go away from, uh, to get toe protection, we worked it into the toe, we worked it into the, into the tongue. And what you see is a seamless integration of, a, of a basically a, a, a forefoot built like a piece of apparel, but uh, still offering you all the feature benefits of, in a new way of what, it, what a shoe needs. And from there, we layered on a secondary element um, right here that's not unlike a grasshopper, a, almost like a skin that's articulating free of the forefoot base layer. And then the third thing we did is we, we layered on a tertiary element um, that you'll see on the bottom of the shoe. Underfoot, uh, we have our Micro-G midsole uh, EVA, which is uh, unique to Under Armour, combined with a blown rubber uh, forefoot, you know, for maximum cushion. And then with that, we have a, a composite plate for maximum energy return. You can also see that we've cored it out for maximum flexibility and cushion and speed, kind of all in one, in one perfect blend. Uh, so once once we overcame the construction, then we had then we had to actually put it together. And I think what was unique about that is you know kind of a, an apparel construction uh, that's been hybrided, if you will, or mixed with a footwear uh, sensibility. Definitely a, a new approach to making shoes, but gets you to a, a new outcome in a new spot. So, charge RC.